How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It is time for this month's Torben Tuesday. Very quickly, if you don't know what Torben Tuesday is, every month, a week before we get a new update, we get given an image full of clues as to what's in that update. So today's video, we have an image which is full of clues about what's going to be in update 25 next week. We're going to have a look at the clues and try and guess what the new cars are. This week is kind of an interesting one. I think we've got some of them correct, but we'll have to wait and see. But we may be finding out today what new cars are in next week's update in Horizon 4. Now, as always, if this video does help you out or if you find it interesting, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy it. If not, then don't worry about it. But let's get right into it. So like usual, we've not actually been given an image this month because Playground Games are still working from home by the looks of it. As you can see, all we've got is a tweet with some text with the clues in instead. And these are what the clues read. Summer is finally here. Well, not everywhere. At least that's what I've read. What is this? High rank at sea holds a group for jungle kings. 85 in 96, hella yella and a racing lion with snarling nostrils. Now, lots of people have struggled to realize how many clues are in this tweet. Is it three, is it four, or is it all five? I believe it's just three clues because the bottom three lines are in speech marks and that kind of adds up that the top line is just an introduction and the bottom three lines are the clues. However, I personally think that the, the beginning bit, the summer is finally here, well, not everywhere, I think that is a clue. Now, obviously around the world, the seasons are at different times. And right now in the UK, which is where Playground Games is sort of based, it's summer. However, in somewhere like Australia, it's winter. Therefore, it's not summer in Australia. So I think that first line is hinting towards somewhere like Australia. Just keep that in mind for the next three clues. As always, what I do is I scout the whole internet, loads of socials for everyone's opinion on each clue so we can get as much information as possible. Now, the first one is high rank at sea, holds a group for jungle kings. Now, well, there are three things that I've seen people guess that this could be. The first one is a de Tommaso Pantera. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, but the word Pantera is panther in Spanish and a panther could be classed as a jungle king, you know, like the animal, and they come in groups. So that is one of the options, but the high rank at sea doesn't really have anything to do with that one. Uh, but the next car people are guessing is the Opel Cadet. Now, the word cadet is a rank in the Navy, which, you know, are at sea. So that kind of adds up a bit. High rank at sea, holds a group, yeah, it could be. But the one that catches my eye is the Holden Commodore. And that's because, number one, Commodore is a Navy rank. That would, it's a high rank as well. So that would add up with high rank at sea. And Holden is Australian. Now, if this is an Australian car themed update, because it seems like the first clue is hinting towards Australia, it would make sense for the first clue to be a Holden Commodore. It's a high rank at sea. It's Australian, it does sort of add up. Now on to the second clue, which is 85 in 96, hella yella. There's only been a couple of cars that I've seen people guess this could be. However, there's only really one that I think it could be, and that's the 1996 Holden HSV GTS R. This, because there's only 85 made, they are from 1996, and they came in a very bright yellow yellow you know what i mean it makes sense so 85 and 96 there were 85 made 1996 hella yellow they are hella yellow look at them look how bright yellow they are that's what i think the second clue is hinting towards now the third one which is a racing lion with snarling nostrils now i've seen lots of mixed opinions on this and i can understand why when you think of a racing lion and you think about cars, you obviously think about logos, like the Lamborghini has, has a bull. Now, the Peugeot car manufacturer, we all know Peugeot, that has a lion in 
in the badge you know it's, it's a lion so lots of people have been guessing like the peugeot 206 rc the peugeot 207 peugeot 207 super 2000 all of the peugeots that are on the leaked car list because it's got a racing lion in it however if we think about it the manufacturer holden which is australian also has a lion in the logo or the badge and to me it makes complete sense for the third car to also be a holden if it's an australian car update now i'm not really sure exactly which holden it would be there's a few little clues that it could be the word racing lion it might be sort of a racing version of a holden um, or with snarling nostrils it could be a holden with quite a beefy front end it looks like it's got some big nostrils I'll have an example on screen right now. This looks like quite a high-end Holden, and if you ask me, it looks like it's got very big nostrils in the front grill type area, so I'm not sure. There isn't really a car that lots of people are guessing the same for this clue. Lots of people are guessing random ones, but me personally, it's got to be a Holden, surely. It's Australian, it's got the lion in it, There's pl well, we've not had many Holdens. It would make complete sense, but the question is exactly which Holden would it be? Personally, I think the HSV W427 is a possibility. This one's been guessed a few times, a bit more than any other ones, and it's the one I showed you in the photo. It looks very racy, it looks very, you know, it's possible. Now, unfortunately, it does only mean that this month we're only getting three new cars. I personally think they're all going to be Holdens. I personally think it's an Australian update because of the first bunch of clues. Now, I mentioned this in all the other ones, so I'll mention it here. The leaked car list obviously does a good job in confirming or kind of debunking whether these cars are coming or not. Now, out of all of the cars that I've mentioned in this video, Holdens are not on the leaked car list. I still think it's probably Holdens. All of the Peugeots um the the pantera car whatever however you pronounce it that is on the leaked car list the opel cadet isn't and also the holdens aren't either so usually the leaked car list actually helps us out but in this case it doesn't none of the holdens are on there we don't know but personally i think you would all agree they're definitely hinting towards australia the second clue is most definitely the holden hsv in my opinion so it would make sense for all the other ones to be Holdens as well. Now, the one thing that I've not gone over is the part of this tweet that says, what is this? I'm not sure if this is a clue hinting towards anything or not. I don't think it is. I'm not exactly sure why they put that there, but I'm not going to start guessing cars from the words, what is this? We'll get a bit out of hand there. But yeah, we've basically gone over everything I think about the update. We'll know if we're correct or not on Monday when we know all about the update from the live stream. As always, guys, have your little conversations in the comment section below, seeing if we're right or just kind of, you know, having your own little guesses at what we could be getting. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Foot 2004 content. And I'll see you all later.